Good morning, really. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy, happy Thursday. I'll give everybody a second to hop on. If you're hopping on earlier, if you're watching the replay, you're getting a very special Jupiter <laughs> sighting. Come here. Oh, all right, that's not what I wanted, but okay, we'll take the we'll take the dog cuddle. Look at the tail. <gasps> Look at the tail. All right, everybody. <laughs> We may not get to practice yoga today. This may be our practice, which is actually pretty funny with today's topic all about filling your heart. So I will move him in a second. <laughs> when we start officially, I will invite him to go somewhere else. So if you're just popping on, we have a very special guest today, as you might have seen. <laughs> Happy, happy Thursday. Let me make sure I can see all the things. Oh, I what a what a perfect introduction. And here he still is. Right. <laughs> what a perfect introduction to today. So as you are hopping in, make sure that you have um two blankets and two pillows. And I didn't warn you about this, but Check that your pillows have a nice thickness to them today um, because you're going to want or, or that you can stack them, okay? So we're going to want that for our practice. So if you're hopping on, say hello. Let us know you're here in the comments and share with us how you are feeling. I'm going to back up since I'm at home. Actually, I'm not at home, friends. I'm in Venice, Italy. I mean, can we just, can we just? <laughs> so I did actually get the scoop for my mom because um, I couldn't remember some of the details surrounding this painting and story, perhaps for another time, I might introduce some of it today. We're definitely gonna go into it tomorrow. Good morning, Karen. Hello, hello. It really is, is studying, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> It is studied, and when we get it up this weekend, there's going to be a bench here. It's literally going to be like I'm on a bench in Venice. Um, so there we go. All right. <laughs> so as you are popping on live, good morning, Mary Beth. Oh, you're feeling energized. All right. Love that. Thank you for sharing. So we'll give everybody a second. What I would love is we are on day four of this challenge. And so as we kind of come in to awareness about what it is you've been creating, connecting to, allowing in your body, right? I would invite you to, to really consider any of these feelings, whether it's um, energized or grateful or awareness, to notice what are the physical sensations in your body that tell you you're feeling that way? How do you know, right? Where, where does that live in your body and what does it actually feel like? The more we can connect those dots from the concept, the thoughts, we're about to get a special guest. There we go. <laughs> um, the more we can connect those dots, the more we start to understand the language I know. Sit down. Keep it up. Okay, good. <laughs> the more we can connect those dots, the more we then start to have the conversation. Good morning, Christine. Welcome. So today on day four, we are talking about pouring gratitude into our hearts. You have likely heard a lot about gratitude. I'm not going to say it's a buzzword, but people talk about it right? It's good for us. There is even science that says that noticing gratitude helps change the chemical makeup um, of how we're feeling in the brain and how our brain takes things in. But I want to frame this in a slightly different context before we move on to our mat. In terms of possibility, right? We started the week starting to notice what it is you're holding on to and how those things that you're holding on to can create walls. And the thing of, and yesterday then we talked about what is it that your heart might be ready to open to. But here's the thing about creating a doorway. 
A doorway is a portal to possibility, right? Or <laughs> I would offer you that a doorway is a portal to possibility. But to backtrack, to create space for possibility, we need to connect to hope, to a feeling, it's an energy state inside of us that is hopeful, that allows. And so I'm connecting the dots. To connect to hope, we have to be filled up. And too often, we are empty. And I don't mean that in the like soulless kind of empty, but we are empty because what we're filling up with is either short-term stuff, right? Like a Band-Aid, or we're filled up with scarcity, with not enoughness. And so the things that we fill up with are the things that we're doing because we believe we should, because somebody else told us to. Even this morning, friends, I, in my brain, right, I have a certain number of workouts that I like to do in a week, It's and I kind of had some, some goals for this week, and I was going to do a live run at 8.05, and I was actually pretty excited about it last night. But when I connected with my body this morning and started from that place of connection and allowing and gratitude, what my body said is, mm, you don't need the run today. Today would be a really good rest day. What you really need is to take some extra time in some of these yin shapes and then to sit in the infrared sauna. So it's that sense of pouring into us what fills us rather than what depletes us, yeah? I'd love to know what thoughts, what questions come up for you as you take that in, All right? What do you, what kind of, well, what thoughts or questions come up? <laughs> so put those in the comments. So this idea of if we're going to be filled up, we have an opportunity to fill up on what lights us up, on what touches our hearts. Good morning, Karen. Oh, I love it too. Yes, stop putting yourself in a box. Yeah, so that is such an important topic. We're actually gonna talk even more about that tomorrow in terms of, right, we, we fill up on ex with external constraints. But if we just keep pouring in the things that fill us, the things that light us up, the things that touch our hearts. So I wasn't gonna share this, but last night um, I went to a, there's a private school nearby that was having a holiday shopping event. And I decided to go to sell some Thrive journals and just see. And what ended up happening was I noticed delight. <laughs> Meaning there were people walking by and it's, you know, a life coach at a shopping event can't really, it doesn't compete with like the baked goods and the, all the other things, but people were coming by and looking. And what was interesting was there were a lot of high school seniors that were there kind of volunteering their time to help with things. And there were a few that kept walking by and their smiles were just so joy filled. They kind of were thrilled to be there. And one of them, a girl by the name of Samora, goes by Sam, delighted me. She was with her mom. And she came up to look and she, I had these different cards set out and she really, she was drawn to one of them. And I said to her, you know, um, I don't know if you are actually joy filled, but I want to thank you because your smile as you've walked by and made eye contact with me from underneath our masks all these times just filled me up. And she was like, oh my gosh. So we shared this moment, right, of gratitude and it filled both of us up. And then she asked, she said, well, I see, you know, you're selling these cards, 10 in a pack. I kind of just love this one. And I said, I would love for you to have this one. Please take it. And I gave her an envelope and she was right, like so delighted. But it's this interesting ripple effect that we create when we just keep filling ourselves with what not just what feels good. This isn't an ignoring of what doesn't feel good because that's real stuff but it is allowing ourselves first to be filled up with gratitude, with what we appreciate, with what lights us up, with what touches our hearts, yeah? So we're going to explore that in our body because I would offer that when we allow that filling 
to be something that we feel in our body, that's where we create ripples of possibility. Thinking about it is one thing. It's good for us to think about it, but feeling it in our body, I would invite you that that's where the magic happens. So before I move onto my mat and can't see anything, um, I would love to know if there are questions or thoughts. And then as I'm kind of pausing for that, make sure that you have either two pillows or two blankets handy and you want, you might be stacking them, especially if the pillow is soft. This one is probably okay, but I may actually layer on top a blanket and you'll see why in a second. But any noticings, questions, or thoughts about that? Okay, let's look. All right, okay, you ready? So we are going to move, I'm gonna just take these off because I can't see anyway when I'm lying down. I am gonna set my timer on, oh, you're, thank you, Perry. Um, I'm actually gonna set my timer on my watch because this particular shape, I could stay in for a really, really long time. And since I can't always see when I'm lying down and it, it gets awkward, then I'm just gonna set my timer. So I'm gonna invite you to lay all the way down for a second. And, and by all the way down, I mean torso down and feet on the earth. And just give your eyes permission to close here. And as they close, begin to just notice the ebb and flow of your breath. Your hands can be light by the sides or if they'd like to be on the belly, just notice. And if it feels better, you can allow the knees to fall towards one another. So as you come in to this moment, welcome yourself here. Maybe you smile at the fact that you've got yourself here. Begin to notice the feeling of your body on the earth, the feet, the hips, the spine, the shoulders. Notice the back of the skull. And I'm not meaning to force or change or manipulate to your breath, to the ebb and flow of the in and out. Receive the inhale and experience the exhale. Just notice where the breath moves into the body when you're not forcing it. Where do you feel that rise and that fall? And as you welcome this body that you brought with you today, take a moment to set an intention. I invite you to consider this intention to let your heart be filled. You might even repeat to yourself, I allow my heart to be filled or I pour gratitude into my heart. Whatever words come to you, we'll set that intention with a big your big inhale, fill up. Open up, sigh it out. And then from here, gently separate the knees if they were falling towards one another. Invite them to be about hip distance. And you might slowly just guide the heels in towards your hips. This is where you're going to want 
your hip, your blanket, or our pillows handy. And what we're going to do is find a, what's known as a supported bridge, meaning we're going to place that pillow or blanket underneath the tailbone, that place where you often have a label uh, on your jeans, just there. So you're gonna lift the hips gently enough, and it might take a little bit of effort to do this, <laughs> but lift the hips gently enough that when you place them down, the tailbone is supported and the hips are ever so slightly, or more than slightly, higher than the heart. Right? There's no specific place you have to be here, but we're supporting the tailbone and the hips. And then notice the hands and just play with where they want to be here. And you can kind of adjust. If you have a big pillow, you might feel a lot of support and just let that be okay. This bridge is on the restorative and so we're gonna take it. <laughs> so notice if the hands wanna be by the sides, if they wanna be placed on the belly, if they wanna be up behind you, just take a moment to wiggle this way or that and allow yourself to settle in. And as you find that just right place, this shape isn't so much about an edge of discomfort and getting comfortable there, but it's about allowing gravity to support us and allow for a flow of energy. So as that just right spot finds you, greet it with an inhale and experience the exhale. And begin to bring your awareness Notice the feet on the ground. And imagine that on your inhale, you're drawing energy from the earth up into the feet, into the legs, towards the knees. And then on the exhale, that energy is pouring from the knees to the hips, to the belly, Send that exhale towards the heart. And just find a few more moments like that, a few more rounds of breath, drawing the energy up and then sending it towards the hips and the belly and the heart. And even if you don't feel like the breath reaches the heart, just imagine that it's filling you up into the hips and the belly and it's spreading, it can't help but spread it towards the heart. As if you're pouring this energy, this breath, this life force into you. round of breath, allow the awareness to settle in your belly, the low belly, the mid belly. And on your inhale, allow that to fill, to expand with something that fills you up, something that lights you up. It could be a color, a place, a smell, a cuddle of a dog. Allow that to fill you in the belly. And on the exhale, send that goodness to the heart. You might even offer it a color. Maybe it's 
the golden light that fills the belly on that inhale. And then send that golden light towards the heart. And with each new round of breath, allow yourself to notice, to name, to feel perhaps a new thing, a different thing that fills you or that you're grateful for. Each new inhale, that moment of expansion, of noticing what it is that fills us, and each exhale being poured into the heart. overflowing with what fills you. So you can allow your awareness of the breath to melt away and simply observe here the heart and this feeling of fullness. the beat of your heart. What does it feel like to be filled up? Notice that. Gently place your right hand on your belly and your left on your heart. And give yourself gratitude for pouring into you. Find an inhale here. Let it go. slowly lift the hips gently remove the blanket or pillow allow the hips to lower down and pause notice how you feel you might take a moment to hug the knees in just a nice counter stretch maybe wiggle side to side and then gently yourself over into a fetal pose on your favorite side. Cradle yourself here. Feel the sensation of being filled up. And as you're ready to bring that with you into your day, slowly guide yourself up to a comfortable, easy seat. just pause for a moment and notice what it is that found you. What was it that you allowed to fill you up? And as you're noticing that, oh, I'm so glad, Mary Beth, make sure to come back and watch the last few minutes because you never know I'm going to do the giveaway prize. So take a moment and jot down either for yourself or in the comments, what came up for you? What did you notice that filled you and how did it feel? Because there's this really intentional aspect of noticing how it felt rather than just thinking about it. 
how did that feel? I'd love to know. You were filled with breath that gave you energy. It was somewhat invigorating, but also relaxing. Yeah, Karen, thank you for sharing that. Right? And so that becomes a reminder, right? If you think about where hope and possibility live, they live in a place of ease, of peace, and they're energizing, right? They move us forward, not in a grippy way, not in a I must do this because I have to be fixed way, but in that place of ease, of perhaps even contentment. Love them where they are, love them anyway, a beautiful glow, yeah, Perry, thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm so grateful for all of you giving yourself permission to play with these explorations. And thank you, Joe. Yes, it is. Oh, you feel relaxation. Thank you, Christine. So your invitation for today is to really steep in this feeling of being filled up. And I'm going to challenge you. Maybe you take that supported bridge again, or maybe you linger with this feeling and see if you can come up with five, eight, ten things <laughs> that fill you. And just allow your body almost to name them, right? As you start to be in that energy, you'll notice things come up that you'll notice, that you that you'll notice there are my fabulous words, right? And, and then notice how that feels in your body, the collection of that which fills you, that you're pouring in, right? How much can you let yourself receive that? And here's why the receiving and the noticing how it's feeling feels so important, is so important because we are sometimes really good at noticing what we're grateful for, but we're not always good at really absorbing it. Do you remember in like science in fifth grade, we did experiments with white carnations and you put them in water and food coloring and then the color would, the carnation would turn a different color, right? It's that absorbing, that's what we're looking for. So we're pouring into the heart and then giving ourselves permission to absorb because that's where we then start to create ripples. Feeling the energy flow in the body is amazing. Yes, I'm so glad. So rooted, all right, yeah. So this becomes your exploration for today to notice what else can you allow yourself to be filled with and how does that feel? So yesterday's, um, the prize for yesterday's exploration um, is this deck of oracle cards by uh, Sarah Bamford Seidelman. How good are you willing to let it get? Because we were considering this question of well, what are we ready to open to? And I love using cards. So I'm gonna pick a name for that in a second, but I wanna share with you the giveaway for, <laughs> I just shared it, <laughs> for today's exploration that we'll do tomorrow is the Thrive Journal. And this journal is a journal that I created several years ago. Some of you have it. Um, it is a beautiful tool to help you stay rooted in what matters most and what fills you and be intentional about that, about paying attention to it. And so there are, it's not dated. So you can pick it up at any any, any time. Um, there are monthly pages. Mine's written in, but you know, here you go. Um, there is a place each month, if you can read my writing better for you, <laughs> to center in, to notice what's working. There's a place each month. Uh, it's a grid for the calendar to kind of pay attention to what you're noticing. And then there are blank pages that I fill. And then each week there's space for a brain dump. And, I mean, you can't see because it's full. Let's see. Um, there are weekly pages that <laughs> uh, allow you to set intention and then focus on what matters most. So that is the treat for day four. And the day five celebration 
prize will be given on Monday. I will tell you what that is tomorrow. So let's see who wins the deck of cards. And Perry, it is my great delight to great delight to get to spread delight. So I love giving treats. <laughs> um, it is one of my favorite things. All right, let's see. Okay, so the deck of cards goes to Wendy. So Wendy, please send me your mailing address and I will get that sent out to you. What I want you to know is that these practices are explorations that you get to keep coming back to. And if you're realizing that you want to keep playing with these and you want to go a little bit deeper, I'm going to plant the seed of beginning to consider what would that look like for you? What type of support or resources would feel beneficial to you? And I have some invitations that I'm going to make um, some ideas for you to just explore. One of them is getting on the phone with me, a discovery call, which is an opportunity just to figure out where are you, what are you working on, and what do you want to create more of, what hope and possibility do you want to open doorways to, and what might it take to get there. So a discovery call is 30 minutes, you and me on the phone, a conversation. It's a delight. I had one yesterday. It filled my heart. <laughs> um, I love having those conversations. And the other is to consider if you are really, really ready to start diving in your vision for hope and possibility for 2022, I want to plant the seed of the Unleash You virtual retreat on Saturday, December 11th. I'll send information. You can ask them for information, but just know that this is going to be a day where we really use the body as an access point through a yin yoga practice, through guided visualization, through meditation to then create a vision. And I will tell you that that is how this painting ended up in my house. <laughs> my house is just a pass through for this painting. And I will tell you the story about that tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Have a fabulous day. If you have questions, if you need anything, please reach out. I'd be delighted to support you in whatever way I can. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow for day five. Bye, friends.